Hi folks, gonna come back and share with you some projects I made over the weekend at the Scrapbook House Connection or Scrap House Connection or something like that uh, out in Warrington, Oregon off the coast. We actually were in a storm advisory and a storm warning and there actually was a tornado that touched down in a city or a town kind of close to where we were. So it was kind of fun, um, but we were storm washers. We went anyway. There was uh, nine of us and a baby uh, in this beautiful, fun, well, I don't know if it's necessarily beautiful. It's a scrap house, but it was a lot of fun. And I got a lot done. So I'm going to share with you what I did. So I did create a mini album, a real scrapbook album, and some projects for my design team for, uh, group. And I will show that in a separate video so I don't uh, combine them. But last year when we were all hauling this jolly good, I did buy the 6x6. Six six, everything they had that went with it, like the brads, the stickers, the ephemera packs, the chipboard, all the stuff that went with it. And I also picked up the uh, 12 by 12 pad. And barely used any of it. I think I was missing two sheets out of this and maybe two sheets out of the 12 by 12, which there was only, I think, 10 sheets or 12 sheets anyway. Um, but I decided I used it for just a few cards last year. And I thought, I, you know, for the life of me, I knew I had enough to do a mini album. So I did. And <clears throat> I did not attach anything about the Black Friday or um, the New Year's in this. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, and my cat kind of did naughtiness, just sneak peek of what he did, chewing up my um, passport because he was mad at me for not being here. But anyway, so uh, this is the mini. So let me explain it to you. So it is, I used the rest of my recollections bags. Those little bags I showed you in the last tutorial. I ended up using them in this, but in a whole different way. So the mini album is five inches by six and a half, and it has a three inch spine. And I used some of the stickers and turned them into chipboard stickers. And all it says is all I want for Christmas. And I thought that was perfect because that means this whole book is all I want for Christmas. It can be your pictures of your children and all the vacations and all the things. So I just put 25 on the side. It is five pages. And this album holds 72 photos if you wanted. So I thought that was pretty cool. So just in the inside panel, I just created a pocket. And I had one sheet left that had the 12 days of Christmas. And so I decided to put them on little tags in each page. This, I just went ahead and made a booklet just for some photos. There is room in here so you can add more things if you wished. And I thought that was perfect. So here's a little bag, which is magneted down. Use a piece of the ephemera pack. It says the night before Christmas. And inside here, I just left the tags plain. I did not write on them or use anything on them. Um, I thought that'd be perfect for a journaling spot because a lot of people don't journal. But if they did, they may want to keep it, you know, private. I don't know. So in the pocket of this little bag, <laughs> I used more of the cut aparts. It says the winter checklist. And Shaking Me Won't Tell You Anything, which is actually one of my favorites. And then, of course, two turtle dove tag in there. And then this opens up to reveal a photo mat and a photo mat. So there's the first page. We flip over here, and I left this <clears throat> piece plain so you could photo mat and then photo here. So at the top. And this also pulls out like just like a, another album I did where you can put a photo here and on the back if you wish. But then there was still room in the bag, so I went ahead and created also a photo mat tag. And I thought that was perfect. So you could literally have lots of room to put more photos in there. And of course, this is the back side of the big bag, so you open that up. And I left one of the journaling tag stickers here, and I just left it so whoever owns this can, you know, and then I photo matted that. And this is one of the cute little euphemia pieces. This piece on earth, a little angel. And of course, three French hens. This is a lot of fun. And this does magnet down. And then here's the second page. It says winter. Again, just a blank tag for journaling. And then, of course, these cut aparts. And here's where the, the um, brads came into play because I thought, how cute would it be just to swivel these tags? So I did. And then, of course, created this little tag of four calling birds. And then open again for two more photos. And then, of course, magnets back closed. This was a lot of fun. I, I just wanted to see if I could do the paper bags in a different way, and I did. And I probably could do a tutorial on this, but I probably won't. Um, just because I don't have any more paper bags now. I think I used them all. <laughs> so, again, this one pulls out. And then this one pulls out as well. And I used those little um, flat back stickers too, those little pearlescent stickers. And then of course I also added another piece here and left it blank. I matted this photo mat here. 
And then this one says pucker up. And it's really just super cute. And then of course five golden rings. And then a magnet closure. I just thought it was awesome. So one says baby it's cold outside. A tag. And then this pocket carries jingle all the way and comfort and joy. And then of course six geese of laying. I like these pieces. I was able to use all the scraps on this. So it was awesome. I didn't have to waste any of it. And I ended up with two sheets left. And the sheets were the 12 by 12s that had something to do with uh, bearing the weather together. And it was raining and umbrellas. And I just didn't see it being Christmassy. So I gifted it. Um, so then again, this flips up. And then back here is another double-sided photo mat here. My hands are so sore from <laughs> crafting all weekend. This says tree hunt and I actually just ever so slightly popped it up so you could slide something in there if you wished. But I loved, you know, just that extra photo mat and the little pieces of ephemera and the cutouts and seven swans a swimming. <laughs> it was just so much fun. And then this page right here says I believe in Santa. And of course a tag and then a pocket, and then of course Santa, and then count down to Christmas. And then of course, eight maids of milking, and then more photo matting. I just like the layout of this, and the paper was so cute. I, I just had to make a mini album out of it, but I'll tell you, I had a lot to choose from. Lots of ephemera, lots of cut-aparts, lots of different things, so I tried to use them all. Of course again, popped up, and another photo mat here. One more of those stickers. And then some tags in here. It says, a snow day with you. How cute. And then this one says, spread Christmas cheer. Hi, Lancey. He's so in trouble, folks. I'll show you why in a minute. Nine ladies dancing. And then magnets closed. Yeah, I'll show you. He chewed up my passport. I know I showed it twice, but I'm so mad at him. <laughs> this one was what, of course, the paper was called. Jolly good. And I went ahead and used it um, just to cut apart for the top of that. And says Merry and Bright, and then Ten Lords Leaping, and All I Want for Christmas, which is what I was on the front. And this one says, I can't wait to kiss you under the mistletoe. I thought that was super cute. And then, of course, more photo matting. Just so much fun. This album held quite a bit. Then the last page again, you flip it up, and you have a tag, or another double sided photo mat right here. And then this little piece just said, um, the night before Christmas, that was super cute. And then 11 Piper's Piping. And I liked this one, it said Christmas cards. I thought that was neat. And then over here, of course, I did a waterfall folio. This is where I ran out of paper. I did make a magnet closure and used the last 12 drummers drumming at the back. And it's magnet just closed. And I used the 25th of December here and just created a waterfall. So this actually holds quite a bit of photos and I really had a good time building it, um, and it, plenty of room. I mean, it's just awesome. So this was fun. Definitely dig in and use your sash, because I'm trying really hard not to buy any Christmas paper, and that was a perfect project for this. And then, of course, my beautiful card made out of the stuff from Tuesday mornings. Is that not beautiful? I turned it into a shaker, and then those little stickers that everybody's hauling from Dollar Tree, those little snowflake stickers were perfect to give that little extra bar, um, sparkle in there. So, all right, folks, just wanted to share those with you. The next video, I will be sharing my um, my design team projects with you uh, from Country Craft Creations. So thanks for watching, folks, and have a great day.